Israel's ambassador to the United Nations called on the Security Council to condemn the firing of a rocket from Gaza Strip at the coastal city of Ashkelon, which ended more than three months of relative peace in the volatile region. Ambassador Prosser said, this attack is an unacceptable breach of the ceasefire that ended our campaign against Hamas last year. Israel holds Hamas fully responsible for any attack that emanates from areas under its control. No country would sit by idly as a terrorist organization played Russian roulette with the lives of its citizens. The group al Aska Martyrs Brigade, which sometimes operates in cooperation with Hamas, claimed responsibility for the rocket strike, saying it was retaliation for the death of a Palestinian prisoner in an Israeli prison a few days ago. The rocket hit a road in an industrial area in South Ashkelon. There were no injuries, but the road was damaged. Israeli military officials said the rocket was an upgraded Fajr 5 missile, which has a range of 70 kilometers. The weapon is one of the most advanced in the arsenal used by Islamist militant groups operating in the Gaza Strip. The Fajr 5 launch marked the first rocket to hit Israel since a November 21 truce brokered by Egypt that ended eight days of cross-border airstrikes and missile attacks in which 175 Palestinians and six Israelis were killed. Hundreds more Palestinians and Israelis were injured as well. By Israeli counts, more than 2,500 rockets have been launched from Gaza against Israel since the beginning of January 2012. The vast majority of them were fired by fighters linked to Hamas. Israel retaliated to the Fajr 5 strike by shutting down two border crossing points with Gaza, which marked a new tightening security in the region after some three months of relative peace. The closure halted traffic and would, if continued, reduce the supply of badly needed goods to Gaza. Israeli officials said they preferred cross-border quiet, but a resumption of rocket fire would be met in the appropriate manner.